Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Just before we do get into today's video, I've got a little bit of a confession to make. Last week, I recorded two or three videos to come out this week. Thought I was being smart, thought I was getting myself organised. Uh, sat down Sunday morning to edit them and they have gone. They've been eradicated, deleted, exterminated, erased, deleted, file gone, everything, whatever word you want to use. They are no more. So... In today's video, we are three months ahead of where we finished at the end of the last one with that game against Arsenal. In today's game, we've got another big one. We've got Manchester United in the league. It's going to be a huge one to see if we can get an advantage in the title race. Hopefully we can. But also, before we get into that, hello... Hello, hello, hello. I've now got two cameras for you. Yep. Giving myself a bit of an extra challenge today. A, can we beat Man U? B, can I edit this video properly? Let's go and find out the answers to both of those questions. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And just before we do get started, if you do enjoy this video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content, FIFA content, which is definitely coming. And so... Let's get into it because we've got a lot to catch you up on because, like I say, it has been about three months since we've last been together. And so, first thing we're going to look at is our transfers because I did record a special deadline day video and, oh my God, was it a mad deadline day. I love the new deadline day feature. It really does make you panic as you can tell from my transfers, because on deadline day, we finally agreed the deal for Ismail Benessa to join the club for £23 million. He looks a very, very decent player. I've been very happy with how he's done so far. He's made 10 appearances for us, 6 starts, 4 subs, and he's got an average rating of 6.9. So he's doing okay so far. I'm I'm quite pleased with how he's done. But also, we concluded a loan deal for Nicholas Shaw. He came in on deadline day. He's played 14 times for us. And he's got an average rating of 7.01. And so he looks very, very good. I'm very happy with how he's been doing. And also... We sold Jorginho to today's opponents, Man United. And the reason we sold him and we got 24 million for him, even though, oh, look at that. We might have been robbed. His transfer value is now 113 million. Whoops. But anyway, the reason we sold Jorginho is because with about five hours left of deadline day, Kylian Mbappe's agent started offering him around. And yeah, I went a bit mental. I really tried to get him. I offered 50 million plus N'Golo Kante to try and get him. PSG agreed, but then Kante turned the deal down. So we did not get Mbappe on that particular occasion. But if you look at our finances... I am already planning for January because we have got a spare £500,000 a week in the wage budget. 
That is going to Mbappe on the 1st of January to try and get him signed up. Hopefully, we can get him signed up. That would be very, very nice. That will be in either the next video or the video after. So, keep your eyes peeled for that one. And so, let's see. How have we been getting on since we've last been together? And, well, you can see here. We left you after beating Arsenal three goals to one. And since then, we have not lost. We are unbeaten in two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen games. We are unbeaten in 19 games. It has been brilliant to watch. We've had some very nice performances in those games. Porto 4-2. That was a nice performance. Leicester 1-0. We played very well in that game, but only got the win thanks to a penalty in the 65th minute. Brentford 2-0. That was a mental game. It was more of a battle than a game. Both teams went down to 10 men. And Tottenham, 1-0. Tottenham, we beat them in the 92nd minute. You would not believe how loud I cheered when that goal went in. Milan, 2-0, we beat them. Julian Alvarez, our young Argentinian, got what I think was his first goal in that game. Yeah, I think it was. And so, yeah, very, very happy with that. And then our last game was a 1-0 win against Wolves. 4-0. I mean, fourth minute Kai Havertz scored. Sorry. I wish it was 4-0. That would have been very, very nice. And so, just before we do get into the game against Manchester United, this is how the things are looking in all competitions. We are second in the league Two points behind Manchester City, but City have got a game in hand. And in the Champions League, after saying that that group we had was going to be very difficult, we've breezed it. We've played five games in that group. We've already qualified. Uh, Dortmund are out of the Champions League. So maybe that might make Haaland a little bit more likely to want to Maybe join us, maybe join someone else in the Premier League. I would like it if it was us. But Porto are out of all European competition, if I know my rules correctly. And so, very disappointing for them. But you can see as well that Romelu Lukaku is our top goal scorer in the Premier League. He's got our best highest average rating in both the Premier League and the Champions League. He has done very, very well for us. And so, shall we get into today's game? I think we should. All right then, guys. This is the team for today's game. It's very much a rotated team because if you have a look down here, we have got Mason Mount out injured, Kante out injured, Benesa suspended, Kovacic injured, Pavard needing a rest. So, yeah. Not exactly full strength, but I still fancy us to get a result today. We've got Mendy in goal. Chilwell and James are our wing-backs on attack. Zag, do, do, do. And Nicholas Saul have really made themselves our first choice centre-back pairing. So they stay in the team today. And then in the middle of the pitch, we've got Barkley as a box-to-box. Box-to-box? Why can I never say that word? Saul is our ball-winning midfielder. Havertz is the advanced playmaker. And then up front, it's Julian Alvarez alongside Pulisic, just behind Lukaku. Alvarez, I think this might be his first start for us. Is it? No, he's had three starts for us, but it's his first start in the Premier League. So... How is he going to do in this massive game? And obviously, Lukaku up top against another one of his old clubs. Can we get a result today? I really, really hope so. 
Okay, just before we do get into the team talk, let's have a look at the Man United team as well. They've got De Gea in goal, Maguire and Varane in defence, Jorginho playing against us, Pogba, Sancho, Fernandes, Rashford and Ronaldo. It's a very strong team. Please let us get a result, please. I'm going to go pumping my fists. And I'm going to go, the media give you a lot of credit lately. That always works in FM, as it has here as well. So, prediction time. 2-0, 2-0 to Chelsea, yeah? That's what I'm thinking. First highlight of the game, and it's Luke Saw throwing it in for Man United. The ball goes back to him, and oh, I thought that went off the pitch then, but apparently not. Luke Saw plays it into Marcus Rashford. He crosses it into the box, and Sancho's header thankfully goes over the bar. <sighs> oh, oh, but we've got another highlight immediately following that from that goal kick. Chilwell's got the ball. And Chilwell, what can he do with it? Can he find a teammate? He's gone past his man there. Alvarez, our young Argentinian, to Barkley. To Kai Havertz. He goes over the top. Lukaku's in. Lukaku shoots. And oh, I thought he'd scored. But no. And now De Gea has put the ball out for the corner ball. Alvarez to whip it in. And Saul's header, he just gets beaten to it. But Barkley picks the ball up. And nothing happens of that. 35 minutes in, and it's another Luke Shaw throw in. This time back to Maguire, and then back to Shaw. And it goes forward to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo with it, back to the left back. He crosses it in. Ronaldo plays it back to Pogba, and Pogba's shot. Oh, thankfully goes wide. Five minutes until half time. Chilwell to Kai Havertz. Pulisic is in space. Pulisic is in space and his shot is saved. Both keepers are having a decent game here. But hopefully this means a goal is coming soon. Alvarez again with a corner. And Varane heads it away. And that again is the end of a highlight. Not too much between the teams in that first half. As you can see on the stats, we have got eight shots for United, six to us, two on target for them, three for us, an XG for them of 0.51 to our 0.62. We've dominated possession. Hopefully that means we can dominate as we go into the second half. And so I'm going to say well done on control, controlling possession so far. Every, everybody is inspired and motivated. That is brilliant stuff. Now, come on, go out there and win this, boys. Right at the start of the second half, Man United have had the kickoff and they've still got the ball. They've brought Greenwood on for Sancho and Ronaldo's had a header and that has gone wide. There's a goal coming. This is not going to finish nil-nil. Oh, it's all Man U so far in the second half. Ronaldo finally gets a header right. Oh, my man, what is going on? 19 games, we've gone unbeaten. I turn it on again today and, yeah. Absolute rubbish we have been so far today. Oh, not again. Fernandez with another corner. This time, Zag, do, 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 gets the ball. Whoa, way, way, way. But only to Rashford, who crosses it in. And it's Ronaldo again. Oh. Well, change is needed. Change is most definitely needed. Oh, my gosh. That is a mad two minutes. That could be a massive two minutes in our season. Okay, so we're going with a higher defensive line, a higher line of engagement. We're distributing the ball to the target forward and we've brought on Timo Werner for Julian Alvarez. Hopefully that can make the change that we need. 
And please, 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 just a point. I will take a point now. Come on. And well, before those subs can take effect, Azpil Coretta has got the ball. It's gone to Lukaku. To Azpil Coretta. Can he play it early? Nope. Alvarez gets it. Alvarez all the way back to Zagadou. That's a little bit disappointing. But Zagadou with it. Into Kai Havertz. Into Lukaku. Lukaku to Julian Alvarez. Pulisic is in space. Pul oh, what was that? He just passed it back to De Gea. And well, De Gea's still got the ball. What is he going to do with it? He's gone long. Zagadou nods it to Barkley. Back to Azpul Coeta again. And what's Asby going to do with this? Goes to Alvarez. Back to his left back. And now he needs to cross this in. Come on, man. Cross this in early. He's got it to Lukaku. We're back in the game, lads. We are back in it. Romelu Lukaku doing what he does best. Come on. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. It's been a mad five minutes. What's that? Three goals in five minutes? What a game of football this has turned into. I told you guys this would not finish nil-nil, didn't I? And now immediately after that, the subs have now taken effect. Havertz with it into Azpil Coeta. His cross is blocked from the right-hand side. Havertz, Lingard plays it back. And oh, we almost got that through. But now off the Manu clearance, it's Rhys James with it. Plays it into Havertz. Havertz crosses and Maguire heads it away. Barkley's got space. Barkley's got his level. But Ross Barkley with a thunderbolt of a goal. And wow, what is going on in this game? 2-2. Two, two. Ten minutes ago, it was nil-nil. What a mad second half. You know what I said just now about being happy to take a draw? Sod that. I want to win this. Come on, Chelsea. Oh, I never thought I'd ever say that. Oh, that feels weird. Ugh. And now, two minutes after that, yet another highlight. Ross Barkley goes all the way back to Zagadou. Zagadou up top, plays it to Havertz. To Saul, out wide to James, who's got space. James goes for a side, he's hit the bar. Oh, we're going to win this. Oh, I've got a feeling we are on to win this now, boys. Just over 12 minutes left of normal time. Barkley plays the ball and Saw heads it back to De Gea. And now, can we get this back off his clearance? As I've just noticed, Saul has got an injury. So let's get him off. For, ooh, um, you know what? We're going to go Thiago Almada. See how he does. And now Saul gets the ball back to James, to Nicholas Saul. Are their names pronounced differently? Please tell me their names are pronounced differently. Because saying Saul to Saul does not make any sense and sounds quite weird. But now Mendy with it. Mendy with the ball. He goes long. Is Werner going to get onto this? No, he's not. But Lukaku's got off their clearance. Pulisic is in space. Pulisic with the long shot. And wide that goes. There's a winner coming in this game. I'm telling you. Oh, five minutes of extra time, injury time, whatever you want to call it. Jorginho goes back to De Gea. He goes long. And McTominay flicks it on to Ronaldo. No, Greenwood's in space and he's tried to play it back to Lingard. But thankfully, James has got there first. Pulisic with the ball now. He plays it through. Werner's in. Werner is in. Oh, end-to-end -end football this. Oh, oh, my days. What a game of football that was. That was worth waiting for. That was worth playing through three months for, I think, and then deleting all the other videos. Christ, what a game. It's finished 2-2. 21 shots for Man United. 18 for us. 8 on target for them. 9 for us. They had an XG of 1.18. We had an XG of 1.96. Possession was exactly 50-50. I think a draw is the right result, lads. I think a draw is the right result. So let's get into the dressing room. 
and let's go hands on hips. We're going to go, actually, yeah, hands on hips. We didn't get the result we wanted, but you should all be happy. And everybody is inspired and motivated. So let's see where that's going to leave us in the league table and then where we're going to come back. So in the league, that now leaves us third in the table. We're four points behind Man City now and they've still got a game in hand. So we need to go on a winning run. We need to go a long time without a draw if we are going to catch Manchester City. And so where are we going to come back? I think we do a special video next time for the Club World Cup. What do you guys think about that? I think we're in the semi-final at least. We'll probably get into the final. So I think we do that as a special one-off video. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hope you guys are as well. And if you've enjoyed that video... Pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content and FIFA content which is coming. I've got new subscribe graphics. Hope you like them. And as well, follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know as well if you like the new two camera thing. Let me know. And yep, I shall see you next time for the Club World Cup. Bye.